Hey guys, welcome to Destiny Academy. My name is Pramod and in this video, we are going to discuss about a short, short way to basically nail your manual testing interview. All right, we are going to discuss about how basically you have to discuss about your manual testing projects. We're going to discuss about what are different questions related to projects generally people ask, right? What are the, what are the things that you need to keep handy to crack your manual testing interview question and answers, okay? Uh, third important thing is how to prepare for a manual testing interview. I'm going to give you a couple of resources as well as links like how basically even I have done it and in the last we are going to discuss about how I was able to crack the manual testing interview all right this is going to be a value packed session let's discuss about this all these important topics all right and make sure guys you watch this video in 1.2x or 1.5x so that you cover till the end because I'm going to give you very very golden nuggets in this video and trust me you will get a lot of value right so let's get started and let's move on to the video so this is a mind map that we are going to use here which will basically the first one let's discuss about the manual manual testing projects and interview so anyone if you are a fresher even if you are a manual tester right these questions people are going to ask okay suppose you want to basically switch to a new job suppose you want to basically get a salary hike so you are trying for a new job right these interview question that you need to basically make know about it right so again i have like a couple of tips for you guys the first important tip is basically explaining your project very well guys uh, trust me whenever uh, this happens i right? don't make this mistake let me ask you this question in a very simple manner suppose i have asked you this question okay explain your project and explain me like what exactly you have done in the manual testing context okay so generally what people do is basically if you see here right don't explain your project in a one or two line or this is like a biggest mistake that you will do okay what instead what you can do is this thing which is basically uh, this is the example that you can do so most of the time what i have seen is generally what people do is they will just explain the projects in one or two sentences exactly they, how they reply is basically uh, hi i have basically done this e-commerce project where i have written some test cases that's it no this is a very very big no let me tell you like how you have to explain so basically you have to tell them like hi i was working on an e-commerce project i had tell tell about the numbers like we had almost like 10k uh, users per day we have a process where the first one was basically related to requirement we had like srs software requirement functional requirements or brds we created a test plan where we have entry criteria exit criteria so whenever you talk about these keywords right they will know that okay yes you know the core concepts of a manual testing this is really really important for you guys after that we have basically you can tell that tell them that yes we have after finalizing the test plan where we have mentioned the type of testing we will do what is our exit and entry criteria of a different stlc life cycle what are the different type of testing as well as what are the tools we are going to use you can tell them that yes we are going to create a test cases don't discuss about the test cases because they are not interested they are interested in your project what you have done so yes you will be creating the test cases show them the templates which is very important so one of the important thing that you can do is basically show them templates there are multiple templates that i'm going to attach in the description also where we have a template to do test plan test cases rtm which is a requirement testability matrix we have bug reporting we have test reporting templates right make sure you are ready with this whenever you are basically giving the interview right so put them in a folder in your machine whenever they will ask you this question related to a show showcase them showing is always important don't tell show them that yes you have worked on is and these are the template that you have used it works very very well trust me it is a short short way or to nail your manual testing interview just showcase them the different types of the templates that you are basically using uh, again discuss about the bug reports as well as the template or email report that you have done right if the email report that you have sent in the current company also right if that doesn't contain any kind of a important information then definitely you can share with your interviewer also showcase them live examples showcasing is very very important okay explain your projects with the numbers that don't be boring guys many times i have seen people are continuously speaking in manual testing interviews and they don't explain anything okay and they are boring in nature don't be a bore just tell them like what exactly you have done where you have basically found the important box be confident and showing is better than telling this is important again you can tell them that yes uh, how have they basically debugged on a chrome dev tools uh, you have a knowledge of a different test management tools like test links a fire practice bugzilla bug reporting tools right jira if you have the knowledge you can tell about them explain your bug reporting as well as the test reporting that how you have basically encountered one of the important bugs and uh, basically how basically have you have overcome it, right so they want to know these things in your project okay make sure you point to this let's move on to the second important point which is things that you need to keep handy if you have any kind of a manual testing interview aligned i think the most important thing let me zoom out a little bit which is a test plan template test cases bug report rtm all the links are given here as well as the different testing techniques all the links are given make sure you watch the videos because i have created multiple videos around the test plan test cases bug reporting as well as the different types of black box testing techniques i come these are enough 
enough to crack your manual testing interviews okay let's uh, discuss about the third important topic which is how to prepare for a manual testing interview i think this is very very important because i have created a road map for you guys also like how you can do that this road map is available in the description you can download it it contains what are the different topics that you should know right for example software testing basics software testing advanced certification live projects related to the manual testing jira details templates all the manual testing that you generally use right all things are available here you can look around okay now comes the very interesting part guys where how basically i was able to crack right so here are the points first of all how i have done is basically debugging knowledge first of all i had a very good debugging knowledge what do you mean by this promo it basically means learn how to basically debug on a chrome dev tools you should know the things related to gray logs as well as kibana sanitary js right these are basically logging where if you have a web application right we have some errors so suppose how you will you see the logs right as a manual tester it's really really important for you to watch or to learn about these tools right i have worked on kafka and rabbit queue they just say that is like a optional for you guys but you should know console errors how to see a console error on for the mobile application as, as well as the web application most of the time right how do you see that console error that you should know again api testing is important because right now if you see manual tester you have to know manual how to do basically manual uh, api testing manually at least so learn about the different http methods and the postman tool i think this is mandatory you can follow my 30 days of postman series right where you will uh, find more details follow a roadmap this is what i have done i have followed this particular roadmap that works very well and again a uh, four hour per week learning with the live project i think it works very well where what i have done is i have taken up a couple of projects like which live projects most of the time these are staging websites for my previous company as well as my one of my friends company right which i basically have used prepared a test plan test cases test report for them so i have done some practices right four hour per week and multiple knowledge of a multiple domains because banking e-commerce of course you can gain whenever for example if you try to manually test the amazon.com a particular checkout flow right then you will know about how e-commerce works similarly for banking domain also so that's how you can uh, nail your manual testing interview i hope this basically makes sense where i have discussed about how to basically discuss about your projects and the how basically you can prepare through the proper road map thanks for watching this video guys i hope you have liked it make, make sure you give a like and subscribe and if you want to see more in more details if you want to see a three day challenge of doing manual testing of a live project just type live in the comment i'll basically create videos around it all right i'll see you in the next video